Hmm, what's this? Hello, welcome to The Freak Show. Bumpy Big Squiggums here. I want to thank you all for joining me as I start up my coverage of Stardew Valley. It's by Concerned Ape and Chucklefish. And unfortunately, I did miss a release date on this one. And for those of you who have been around the channel for any length of time, you guys will know for about a week my parents were visiting from out of the country. And I had a bunch of pre-recorded stuff that I posted during that time. Anyhow, I missed quite a few release dates and other various things. I had a lot of problems. I even had my Steam account hijacked from me, I think it was on the 28th, maybe? Something along those lines, 27th. Anyway, this game actually released on the 26th of February, and it, it wasn't great, guys. Not the release of the game, but just the fact that I wasn't able to do coverage of it right when it came out. I did contact the developer after I got my Steam account and everything in order. And I've been waiting ever since then to hear back, and unfortunately I heard no words, so I decided to grab the game for myself and get started getting playing and getting hustling on this LP. It's going to be a lot of fun. I know a decent amount about the game. I've seen a little tiny bit of gameplay, but I haven't actually had any hands-on experience. I babbled long enough, guys and gals. Let's hop in and actually have some fun. It did disappoint me a bit that I'd never heard back from the developers. So, as I said, this is my first hands-on experience with the game. And I guess we need to create our character, obviously the name, the farm name of my favorite thing. And we can either be a cat person or a dog person. Well, we definitely don't, we don't care for the kitties too much, guys and gals, because we're deathly allergic to them. So that kind of leans me a little bit more toward dogs. However, I am still mildly allergic to dogs, but I have dogs. I've always had dogs, or not always, but for the most part, I've had dogs. So there's that. Alright, let's see what we can uh, do with our... I'll think about a name and a farm name soon. I know what my favorite thing is going to be. It's going to be tacos. There we go. Tacos are going to be my favorite thing. I, in fact, just made tacos last week. Uh, last weekend, actually. I even had some leftover yesterday I made again. It was delicious, by the way. My tacos, amazing! Alright, we have a lot of skin... What? We can be green or purple? Really? That's pretty awesome. Alright, I think, um, I'm thinking I'm gonna go with a, nah, I'm gonna go with a purple color, why not? I suppose we don't have to look bizarre, we can be kind of normal, oh, we can be like totally, like, undead pale gray there, that's, uh, yeah, I don't know guys, I kinda wanna go with something crazy, there's a blue, a green, and a purple, I'm gonna go with a purple. Alright, let's see what hairstyles we have, we are male, last I checked, so we're gonna kinda go with that. A lot of female hairstyles. Apparently, even though you're a male character, you get the choice of all of them. I kind of like the the spiky DBZ look there. I don't know. Is that is that really man hair? I, I suppose it is. The little kind of the kind of wiggy hair. There's that's. Eh, we're gonna go with the spiky DBZ hair. There we go, guys. I like it. Um. Do, well, we can actually change all the color too. That's that's pretty cool. We can change our eye color. We're gonna go with like a an emerald green. There we go. Let's see what else. Uh, hair color. Can we do? Can we do black? I guess we if we change the the darkness, go like super black hair. Now we don't want to go black. We're gonna go like a, like a deep green. I think that's gonna be the play right there, guys. I like it. I anyway, have green hair, or green hair, green eyes, or green air. I don't. It's fine. What kind of shirt can we wear? Oh, oh there's a skull shirt. What? Nah, let's see what else is. They have to have some cool stuff. What are those? Different colored uh, suspenders and overalls. Is that a skeleton shirt? Oh, we got the wife beater or something that looks similar to a wife beater. Hmm. There's a heart t shirt. Oh, the leather, the Fonz look right there, huh? Uh, leather jacket. Oh, 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 there's no way. What is that? That's like a freaking tunic there. It's pretty sexy. I like it. Alright, there is a lot of options. What the heck is that? There's a lot of options available here. That's some creepy stuff. What the heck is that? There's like a mouse. Some really, really bizarre looking uh, shirts. There oh, we have to go with the ghost shirt. Alright. Oh, we can get facial hair too? What? Oh, I like it. Oh my gosh, there's so many different things. This game is crazy good already. Alright. So we're going to go with the full beard. I like it. I like it a lot. That's what we're going to roll with. Um, apparently we don't have pants accessories that we can do. We're stuck with the ones that we have. I am okay with that. So what are we going to call this guy? And what are we going to name our farm? And we can change our pants color. I'm thinking maybe we go with the black pants with the white shirt. 
Yeah, something like that. That's okay. Um, let's see. Farm name, we'll call it... We'll call it the Schmoogle. I don't know how to spell that, though. Schmoogle Farm. The Schmoogle Farm will be called... Um, uh, Schwartz. There we go. Something like that? Sure. We'll roll with it. Schwartz Schmoogle. That's going to be our name. And uh, it's the Schmoogle Farm Tacos. I'm assuming we just own a farm. I don't know, guys. Alright, let's begin, shall we? Character creation probably took way longer than it had any right to, but let's see what's going on here. Is that Santa Claus? And for my very special grandson, apparently this is my grandfather and he's chilling in a Santa-like outfit. I want you to have the sealed envelope. Or envelope, if you prefer. The dude's got a sword. He's got a freaking cutlass over there. It's craziness. No, no, don't open it yet. Have patience. Now, listen close. There will come a day when you feel crushed by the burden of modern life. And your bright spirit will fade before a growing emptiness. When that happens, my boy, you'll be ready for this gift. This is a very... Now, let Grandpa rest. That is a very uncomfortable looking bed. And it looks like double X years later, or 20 was what my guess is. Joja, join us. Thrive. Work. Apparently there's a work and rest thing. Oh, they have cameras pointing at us, always. Those are the largest computers and desks I've ever witnessed in my entire existence. Like, holy cow. Oh, there we are. We do not blend in with the rest of this crowd. Uh, we have to pee, maybe? Or we're thirsty? I, I'm not. I'm not sure which. Oh, my mouse is there. Hey, I guess we get to open the letter. Apparently we're tired of modern life. Dear Schwartz, if you're reading this, you must be in dire need of a change. The same thing happened to me long ago. I'd lost sight of what mattered most in life, real connections with other people and nature. So I dropped everything and I moved to the place I truly belong. Oh gosh, did he join a cult or something? I've enclosed the deed to that place, my pride and joy, Schmoogle Farm. It's located in Stardew Valley on the southern coast. It's the perfect place to start your new life. This was my most precious gift of all, and now it's yours. I know you'll honor the family name, my boy. Good luck. Love, Grandpa. All right. Oh, P.S. If Lewis is still alive, say hi to the old guy for me, will you? I I guess, man. All right. Oh, we're just gonna close it. There it is. Okay, say hi to Lewis. All right. Apparently, we're on a bus. Well, I gotta say, so far, I I like what I've seen, and the game's gonna pick up at ooh Stardew Valley, point five miles. The game's going to pick up and be quite a lot of fun. There's going to be tons of stuff to do. I mean, I already like the graphics. I'm a fan. It reminds me of, but not, it isn't. But it reminds me of, like, I don't know. It's hard to explain. It almost reminds me of uh, RPG Maker games, but it's its own handcrafted type thing. You know, I, I like that. It's a little bit more pixelated, a little more old school feely, you know, more Legend of Zelda-esque. Hello, you must be Schwartz, says Robin. I'm Robin, the local carpenter. Mayor Lewis sent me here to fetch you and show you the way to your new home. He's there right now, tidying things up for your arrival. Sweet. The farm's right over here, if you'll follow me. I will follow you, I guess automatically. This is my farm. This is Schmoogle Farm. Oh dear lord. Yeah, exactly. That's how I feel, buddy. That's how I feel. Well, what's the matter? 
Sure, it's a bit overgrown, but there's some good soil underneath that mess. Is there? With a little dedication, you'll have it cleaned up in no time. Alright. Well, that's something, I, I guess. And here we are, your new home. Where's this low? Gosh. So where's this Lewis guy? Hi. Ah, the new farmer! Welcome, I'm Lewis, Mayor of Pelican Town. You know, everyone's been asking about you. It's not every day that someone new moves in. It's quite a big deal. It is, I imagine. This does seem like a small rural uh, dealie. So, you're moving into your grandfather's old cottage. This might even be pre, like, it might not even be rural. It might be something else. By the way, I have a hard time saying that phrase. Uh, grandfather's old cottage. It's a good house. Very rustic. Really? I guess there's kind of a hole in the deck over there. Rustic? Well, that's, that's one way to put it. Crusty might be a little bit more apt, though. Rude! She laughed at me. I saw her snickering. Don't listen to her, Schwartz. She's just trying to make you dissatisfied so that you buy one of her house upgrades. <gasps> Shock and awe. Oomph. Anyway, you must be tired from the long journey. You should get some rest. Tomorrow you ought to explore the town a bit and introduce yourself. The townspeople would appreciate that. Alright, cool, cool. Would they, though? Are they friendly people? Oh, I almost forgot. If you have anything to sell, just place it here in this box. I guess that box? I'll come by during the night and collect it. Um, oh, aren't, weren't you the mayor? Why would you be on, like, trash duty? Uh, hmm. Well, good luck. That's that's weird. That's that's a little weird. I'm not gonna lie. All right. So what do we do now? The rooster crows, and our first day as a farmer begins. Oh, we're actually in bed. Oh, hey, we're out of bed. Hey, there's a box over here. Whoa. What? Yeah. I, um, shift is not run. Sh apparently, we're automatically always running. Oh, we have tools. That's interesting. Alright, um, do I right click? Hey, I right click. I got some parsnip seeds. Hmm. You received 15 parsnip seeds. Here's a little something to get you started. Mayor Lewis. Well, thank you, Mayor Lewis. There's a thing over here that wants me to click on. Uh, getting started. If you want to become a farmer, you have to start with the basics. Use your hoe to till the soil. Okay. Then use a seed packet on the tilled soil to sow a crop. Fine. And then water every day until the crop is ready for harvest. Okay. And introductions. It would be a nice gesture to introduce yourself around town. Some people might be anxious to meet the new farmer. Okay, so that's the thing. If I press I, um, tab, C, spacebar. Is there an inventory button too? Oh, uh, apparently E is your inventory button. I'm not sure why specifically, but okay. I think I would prefer to have this set up a little bit differently. Alright, I don't know... Usually I have my pickaxe on number one, I'll have my axe on number two. I don't usually have a hoe, so we'll put the watering can. I guess we'll be doing... Eh, I don't know, it's fine guys. We'll see how this plays out until I just press E again and we're, we're good. Okay, so you move around with WASD, and apparently you can select stuff with the various number of keys up top. Okay, well, let's head out, and maybe we should do something about clearing out this farm a little bit. I will use my axe to... Ooh, what did we get? We got some fiber. Very nice. Alright, let's use the pickaxe to clear out the stones. I'm assuming that's how it works. It is. That is how it works. Oh, we can use the pickaxe to clear out that stuff, too. Nice. Oh, and apparently you have to face the direction that you want to swing. It doesn't go off the direction your mouse is facing, or at least it doesn't seem to. No, it doesn't. Alright, that's cool. Uh, the axe to chop the little logs on the ground? Okay. Can we chop bigger trees? Like this tree down here, can we chop that? Is that a thing we can do? One would think you could, but, well, we'll find out soon enough. Oh, yeah, we can totally chop the tree. Oh, you can even hold down the mouse button to do it. Nice. Can we chop the stump out, too? Oh, very cool. I am a fan. 
I am a fan of everything happening right now on my screen, ladies and gentlemen. And you are all witnesses to the greatest happening in the history of man. I don't, I don't know about that, but it is pretty cool stuff. Uh, pickaxe is number one. Axe is number two. We're going to clear out a little bit of the field. I'd like to plant stuff right away if at all possible. I think that would probably be a fairly decent play. Uh, the scythe, I think, five was looking at. Yeah, that gets rid of the grass right there. Oh, and it clears out actually a fairly decent chunk. It's pretty easy to harvest the grass stuff here too, or these bushes, whatever they are. There's butterflies floating around. I wonder if you could harvest butterflies and plant them to grow flowers, like in um, what is that? Don't starve. That could totally be a thing that we can. I, I doubt it's going to be that kind of mechanic. That was a very odd mechanic from Don't Starve. One I always questioned. I was always like, that's a very weird... Who came up with that idea? That's very odd. Alright, we're going to whip out our axe and chop down some of that. Apparently we have energy, too. I just was noticing at the bottom right here. We have energy. Apparently all the stuff that we're doing is burning a lot of energy. I'm not sure if that's really the case, but it seems like every time we swing our... Pickaxe of Doom here, or our Axe of Doom, it does seem to drain some energy, though it doesn't look like the Scythe does all that much. Alright, I'm going to get rid of this little small tree. I'm assuming it's like a sapling or something. We're going to get rid of that, get it out of our way. And we're going to put some, uh, okay. Put some lines down here, and we're going to... Yeah, I think that's going to be okay. So let's see, we got one, two, three, four. I want to go five deep, something like that. Seems okay. Okay, that's cool. So we'll come right down here. I'm going to build, I guess, uh, let's see, we have 15 seeds. So we're going five each. Maybe I want to go out a little bit further this way. Oh, not that far. Oh, uh -huh, that's not where... Maybe this has a little something to do with your uh, mouse where you click. Well, that's a bit disappointing. I was hoping that... Hmm. Well, well. We have an extra line there, guys. It'll probably drive a few of you nuts, but eh, it should be okay. Alright, so we have some mixed seeds, and we have a bunch of parsnip seeds. Alright, so I'm going to try and place these... Oh, good. I can do them sideways. Nice. Alright. It's working quite well. Alright, so we have the 15, and then we have the extras over here. I did not miscount, guys. I knew we had the mixed seeds down there, and I wanted to be able to plant those as well. We have a watering can, and apparently we have to water the seeds. How far out? Oh, we can water pretty far out, too. That's not bad. Alright, so I'm going to go here, and I'm going to see if I can water, like, all six of these. Seems like it works. Pretty cool. Okay, so we've done that. Now, it can be refilled at any water source. Is this a water source? It looks like a water source. Oh, it totally worked. Cool. Okay, so we've started farming. They said that we should go and meet people in town. I guess the town is... Is there a map button? Oh, there is. M is for map, guys. Remember that. That's a thing. Okay, Marty's Ranch, and it looks like time is paused. I'm assuming there's some sort of weird time mechanic. I don't know yet, guys. I'm still learning the game, so you'll have to bear with me. We'll learn together, we'll enjoy, we'll have some fun with it. This is supposed to be a very, just like, casual, kind of relaxing type game. At least that's what I've, I've grasped. And you just go and you just have fun, and you go and you farm, you do stuff. I think there's adventuring, and like, there's fighting and stuff, so it's not just farming. All sorts of stuff. I heard there's a lot of mini games and stuff involved with this game as well. So, I'm looking forward to it, guys. It's going to be nice to have kind of a more casual series on the channel. I have a few, but this is going to be a lot of fun. Alright, so this is the bus stop is where we're at. Our farm's over here. It looks like we have lines of food there, and there's more over on the left? I don't remember doing that. We'll check that out. So, uh, Leah's Cottage, uh, Marty's Ranch, there's a Wizard Tower. Okay. Uh, we don't know what that is, um, and all these other, oh, wait, this doesn't seem to have anything. A community center, the carpenter's shop, home of Robin, Demetria, Sebastian, and Maru. A tent, oh, that's weird. Another question mark, a giant cookie, apparently, I don't know what that is. Uh, there's some mines up there, there's the Jojamart. 
Is that the... We worked at, like, Joja Corporate or something? I, uh, that seems... Uh, I don't know. Pierre's General Store. Um, let's see. A saloon? That's weird. One River Road, home of George, Evelyn, and Alex. The Mayor's Manor, the Blacksmith. Stardew Valley Museum and Library, 8 a.m. to 6 p.m. Oh, there's even times where they're actually open. One Willow Lake is the home of Jody, Kent, and Sam. Sorry, guys. I know this is probably not the most exciting part of it. Oh, well, it looks like we'll need to head east at some point. And we will, uh... There's a daffodil there. We can apparently gather these things. Can we chop down trees out here? Oh! Do we want to chop down trees out here? I feel like that might not be the play. Is there anything else up here? This is just a random bus stop. That's, that's pretty weird. Okay. Well... What, what are these? Why are they vibrating and moving? Can we do something to them? Pickaxe? Can we hoe the... Oh, gosh. Oh, I can hoe that. Oh, but I don't have any room in my inventory. Well, that's not cool. I don't know what that is. It looks like poop. Do I even want to pick it up? What is that? Oh, dear. Um... Uh, I don't know. Is it worth... I... It looks like we can get sap pretty easily. Is there a way to throw stuff away? Oh, there is. Or, or maybe we can drop... Oh, we can drop it on the ground. That's interesting. Huh. Oh, coal. If I drop coal... I don't know if it's going to stay after the fact. So what I'm going to try doing is dropping this stuff and trying not to pick it back up like a noob. I can't promise that's going to... I can't promise that's going to be the case. Apparently you have to stand over whatever you're on top of. Otherwise you pick up your other stuff. Alright, so we picked up some clay, and I don't know if any of this stuff's good or bad. I don't know what I'm doing yet, so... Bear in mind, is it still on the ground? Oh, it stays on the ground. That's amazing. Alright, cool. Alrighty, so... Welcome to... Whatever town this is. There's a question mark over here. I like question marks. I like them more when... Ah! You right-click. Apparently, this is a calendar. And from what I'm to understand... There are obviously four seasons, spring, summer, fall, or autumn, if you will, and then winter. And I think each month, or each season is like 28 days, so four weeks is basically each season. And why are these people, oh, that's their birthday, huh. Okay, what is this, an egg festival? And what is this one? A flower dance. Well, that sounds interesting. Um... Okay, so apparently we should do something on these guys' birthday. Maybe visit them in their house or something. I don't know. Is there anything else over here? Oh, there is. Uh, help wanted. Nothing is posted. Well, it's 3.30 p.m. apparently. Um, let's go in here. Let's not chop... Oh, we're almost out of energy, too. Chop stuff. Let's talk to whoever this person is. It's Leah. Hello. It's nice to meet you. Thank you. I thought it was nice to meet me, too. Who are you, guy? Welcome to Pierre's. Need some supplies? I... Uh, um, maybe, though I don't know yet for sure. Alright, what are these? Parsnip seeds. Plant these in the spring. Takes four days to mature. Cost 20 each. Bean starter. Plant these in the spring. Takes 10 days to mature. That doesn't seem that good. But it keeps producing after that. Oh, really? It yields multiple beans per harvest. Grows on a trellis. Hmm. Well, that seems like that's probably a pretty good investment. Uh, can I, I can sell these? Uh, right click them? Maybe I'll sell those off and maybe I'll buy some bean starters. Cause that seems like that's probably going to be one of the better things. Granted, they're really expensive in comparison to the parsnip seeds. Um, yeah, no, I think I'm gonna go with that. And then there's pota all right, cauliflower seeds here. Plant these to ta uh, plant these in the spring. It takes 12 days to produce a large cauliflower. Uh, plant these in the spring. Takes six days to mature and has a chance of yielding multiple potatoes. That seems pretty legit too. There's more tulip bulbs. Plant in spring. Takes six days to produce a colorful flower. Assorted colors. Kale seeds. Have these in the spring take six days to mature and harvest with a scythe. Huh, interesting. 
Uh, a blue puffball flower. So there's a lot of different things we can do, apparently. Grass starter. Place this on your farm to start a new patch of grass. Why would we want to do that? I'm sure there's a reason. Sugar adds sweetness to pastries and candies. Too much can be unhealthy. Wow, you just sell pretty much everything. Alright, well, what are these? What good is a sapling? Uh, let's see, a cherry sapling takes 28 days to mature. To produce a mature cherry tree. Bears fruit in the spring. 28 days, isn't that the length of a month? So you'd have to plant this in winter. Which seems weird. Uh, bears fruit only in the spring. Only grows if the eight surrounding tiles are empty. Huh. Seems like the same thing with the apricot. We don't have the money for any of this stuff. Alright, well I think I'm going to go all in on these bean starters. I don't know if we're going to need a lot of money for anything right away, but I think if we make some money, or we uh, spend some money, we'll maybe be able to make some money. I'm not sure if that's how it's going to work or not. I kind of wanted to get 10, but it looks like we're going to be just short. That's okay. That's okay. We're going to try to do a lot of stuff divisible by 5, guys. That's one of my things that I like to do. I try to keep everything as divisible by 5, or even even numbers like uh, 5, 10, you know. Divisible by 5, I guess, is the best way to do it. Honestly, I'd prefer to have 10, but you start off with 5. I mean, eh, I suppose I could start off with, like, 6 or some other weird number. Alright, let's start talking to folks. And you walked inside. i got to stop hitting things with my pickaxe. That is not working for me. This is the saloon, apparently. Oh, I can read it on your face. You are going to love it here in Pelican Town. That's the name of the town, huh? Pelican Town. If you're ever looking for something to do in the evening, stop by the saloon. That's where I work. Alright, well, thank you, my dear. Thank you. Alright, what is this? Well, hello there. I'm Gus, chef and owner of the Star Drop Saloon. Okay. Oh, I'm sorry, ma'am. I will get out of your way. You seem to get a little bit irritated there. You started shaking. You were getting kind of angry. Oh, we can actually buy stuff from... Oh my gosh, everything is so expensive. Holy... Uh, is there more to do in here? Well, it looks like there's some stuff to do. Alright, well, we're going to kind of get around town a little bit more. I'm probably going to end up having to break off the episode soon, too. We didn't get a whole lot accomplished yet, but we're, we're, we're just kind of getting our, our feet wet, you know? Getting our bearings here. Oh, hey, so you're the new guy, huh? Cool. Thank you, Alex. It's Pam over here. Wow, look at Pam. Uh, hey, kid, the name's Pam. Okay. And who are you two? Let me walk into the bushes and be creepy. Hi. Uh, okay. Oh, aren't you the one who just moved in? Maru, whoa, I'm Maru. I've been looking forward to meeting you. You are super excited. Talk about over over exuberance. I mean, kudos to you for being so excited. What is this? Uh, is this Mayor Lewis? Yeah, it is. So, how was your first day or first night in the old cottage? Uh, well, it's a bit drafty. I don't think there was any. Ooh, I don't think there was any plumbing or anything in there either. So, it wasn't ideal, obviously. All right, what's this guy or girl? It's a guy. Sorry. Uh, the new farmer we've all been expecting, and whose arrival has sparked many a conversation. I'm Elliot. I live in the little cabin by the beach. It's a pleasure to meet you. It does kind of look like a girl. I kind of saw the hair, and I'm like, that's a... At first I saw the face, and then I saw the hair. I don't know. It was a bit off-putting. Alright, so is this, is this where Elliot's at? Oops. Dang it! Stop doing that! It's locked. Only Elliot's friends can enter uninvited. What is this? Hmm, with 300 pieces of wood, this could be fixed. I bet it could. Unfortunately, I don't have any wood right now. Well, I do, but I, I have 29, not 300. Yeah, we don't have much in the way of inventory space, do we? No, we do not. We, oh, we get skills? Combat, fishing, foraging, mining, farming. Oh, we can mine, too. Nice. Oh, and there's some sort of odd reputation thing with the various different people. And apparently we can give them gifts or something. Well, we'll figure that out in a little bit here. There's the map, okay. Uh, what else? We have craft- ooh, we have a crafting menu. We can craft a gate, a wooden fence, a chest. Ooh, we need to get that handled, like, immediately. Uh, a torch, a wooden path, 
a gravel path, and a cobblestone path. Alright, so I guess once we get our energy back, I assume we can rest or sleep for the night. We will go and we will craft ourselves a chest. Let's see what that does. Collections. Apparently we don't have any many collections. Oh, there's options. Nice. Auto run, show portraits, show merch. Uh, yeah, merchant portraits always show tool hit location. That might be helpful. I won't till the ground in the wrong spot again. Hide tool hit location when moving. That might not be too bad. We'll see. Uh, pause on the game window is inactive. Oh, there is some sound settings here for the music and stuff. Alright, I'll... Oh, really? The resolution's locked at that, huh? That's okay. Well, I suppose with windowless board... That's fine. It's fine, guys. Um... Yeah, everything's looking good. I like it. Alright. Enough of the settings, guys. Enough of the settings. Let's get out of here. Alright, there's apparently a fish market. Was, hold on. Was fishing one of the things that we could have... We could get skills-wise? Skills this one? Yeah, it is. So how do we fish? Do we... Hmm. Gotta stop doing that. I, I keep doing it. Gone fishing. I'll be back tomorrow. Well, that must be convenient. It's random. Well, I, I suppose if you do own a fish shop, it would make sense that you could be fishing at uh, any point during the day. Well, we found the thing that we found. I'm kind of curious. Hmm. Alright, well, that's those things again. What was it? The hoe? Oh, there's a random book that was buried on the beach, apparently. That's a thing that happens. That's got to be worth more than the clip. Where did it go? You found a lost book. The library's collection has expanded. Uh, I did? Okay, what happened to the clay? Oh, the clay just randomly disappeared. Oh. How wonderful for me. Okay, well, we, we lost our clay that we had uh, attained earlier. That's cool, I, I guess. Hey, dude, who are you? Er, uh, hi, I'm Clint. Hey, Clint, how's it going, buddy? I'm new to town. I'm just kind of looking for, um, just trying to make friends and being neighborly and all that stuff. Can I go in here? It's locked. It's open 8 a.m. to 6 p.m., and it's, ooh, it's almost 8 o'clock at night. We should probably head back to our place. What is this? Uh, it's locked open 9 to 4. Hmm. I shall gather the daffodil. The daffodil of doom! It's fine, guys. Alright. I don't hear any music playing right now, which is a little bit odd. I'm not gonna lie. The Joja Mart. Life is better with Joja. Can I knock knock? Oh, apparently this is open 24-7. Hello, sir. Who are you? Welcome to Jojamot. How are you doing? It's Morris. I don't believe we've met. I'm Morris, Joja Customer Satisfaction Representative, or the JCSR. Eh? When you decide you want to become a Joja member, I'll be delighted to help make your transition a joyous experience. Well, that sounds wonderful. Or terrible. And then who are you? You are... I can't just randomly... No? Have to be on this side? Oh, just a random person to talk to. Well, all these things seem more expensive than they were at the other place. Weren't there parsnip seeds 20 at the other place? I think they were. These were 60 if I'm not wrong, maybe 70. I feel like they're all a little bit more expensive here. Is there anything to be had in this store? Like, like just like free pick-me-up stuff? No? Any samples we can get fed? No? You don't want to, you don't want to feed us, huh? Alright, well, what we're gonna do is we're gonna not exit the game, guys. Um, did I do something to mess with the music? I feel like the music is just like, just died. I'm just like, everything we were just like, bam, bam, bam. we were just dancing, we were just having a good time, and then all of a sudden it just like died completely. There's no music at all. Though there is the crickets in the background. I guess that can be misconstrued as music. Alright, well, it's getting dark out. I don't know if we have to like be back at our house or go to bed or what the case is, but. I'm going to head back there. We're going to probably just end up going to bed. We'll pick up whatever stuff we left laying on the ground here if we can. Sap, I guess. And we're going to head back into our our house. And that's probably going to do it for this evening. I don't know. There seemed to be some like stuff over here, too. I wanted to take a quick peek at, but 
don't like if we look at the map it looks like like right here there's supposed to be a whole bunch of like stuff planted but there's nothing there so I don't I don't know anyway folks let's hop on in and then we'll break off the episode and that will do it hey we have a little plant in the corner I like that we have a TV it's a big TV there's a weather report a fortune teller and living off the land what is that Welcome to Living Off the Land. We're back again with another tip for y'all. Now listen up. This one's for all you greenhorns out there. Chop wood and search for wild forage to earn some cash while waiting on your first harvest. Okay. I guess that will be what we do. Um, we could sell, right? That was a thing. We could put stuff in this box and sell. So I'm going to try selling the fiber. I don't know if that's going to be something we can sell or not. And these flowers, and I don't know, maybe the sap. I'm going to keep the other stuff. And unfortunately, like I said, our energy is so low, I don't think we can actually harvest or uh, plant these bean starter thingies yet. So, anyway, folks, I am going to go to sleep. And I get, oh, there we go. Go to sleep for the night? Sure. And first of spring, year one. Foraging is 72 gold we made. We made 19 from the stuff that we did. Oh, and it breaks down 19 fiber that we sold. Okay, one gold each for a total of 91 gold. Not bad. Not too bad. That is the first of spring of the year one and all that wonderful fun stuff. All right, guys, we survived our first day. I'm going to sit here on the menu and I'm going to leave it paused there while I do my little outro here. The game looks like it's going to be a lot of fun. There's a lot of stuff to do. It looks like there's a ton of people to find, reputations to build up, a lot of skills that we can do from fishing to mining to combat to farming and who knows what else. There's crafting. I mean, the game pretty much has everything you could ever hope or want in a game. And I got to say, just playing it for the few minutes that I played it so far, I'm a really big fan. I'm glad I did manage to get my hands on the game, whether to buy hook or by, well, getting it myself. And, well, I'm hoping this game does well. I've actually checked. It's been doing phenomenal on Steam, too. Like, it's one of the top two or three games, uh, top sellers. So, that's pretty big, guys. So, if you've never heard of it, the game is called Stardew Valley. You should definitely go check it out. It's fantastic. I highly recommend it. And, well, you're going to see a lot more of it on the channel. And in fact, this first day, I'm going to kind of dedicate, now that I have my hands on it, to just playing it and having some fun. And I'll probably post a few episodes on the first day. So... There you have it, guys and gals. Anyway, until the very next episode, if you want more information about the game, the developer, or the publisher, any of that stuff, it will be down below in the description of the video. If you enjoy the video, please like, comment, subscribe, and share it. It always helps with uh, first episodes especially. And yeah, with that, I will bid you all a fine farewell. And until the very next episode, my name is Bumpy McSquiggums. Thank you for stopping by the Freak Show, and I will see you later.